Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated and today I will show you how to easily create letter templates from the data inside of your Google Sheets. Let's get to it. The first step will be to create a folder which we'll be using for this exercise. In this case, in the folder I have our customer list. So these are all the people that we would be sending the letters to. So you can see that we have the first name, last name, company name, address, city, zip, and the state. Then next step would be the actual letter template and then envelope. We also created a folder into which we'll be placing the PDF files that are ready to be printed. Okay, let's start first with the template for the letter. Here you can open standard Google Docs document and you can start typing whatever you would like to have in your email that you'll be sending to your customer. And you can see that we'll be doing a couple of things like this in here. So the first thing would be date and there will be a curly braces tag that will contain the date that we will later insert from, from Google Sheets or from, from our support tool Integromat. Then the next step would be the salutation. So that would be dear and the name of the person. We'll be using the first name of the person from our Google Sheet. And here the rest of the email, the rest of the letter depends on you. You can customize it any way you want. You will see that, for example, in this case, we will start it with insertion of the company name. We would like to offer your company name. And here we are inserting inside of the curly braces, uh, curly bracket, the company name. The opportunity to participate in our program here, it's just dummy text. You can see that it's just uh, a bit of placeholders to fill it out, but you would be able also to add, for example, other information from your Google Sheets. So we can add here, um, let's say order value, total order value. And we'll create a tag for this placeholder. Double brackets to open, curly brackets, total. And let's make a corresponding entry in our Google Sheet. And let's format this as a currency. Okay. So this is the template that we will be sending as a letter. You can see this has escaped. So we will shorten a little bit this for the sake of exercise. Okay, so we have one page letter template. Now let's move on to envelope. On the envelope, we will have our business name and we would also like to add the address detail of our customer. So instead of pressing tap, tap, tap to position this in this place, we will use this function. So right click on the on the bar on top and select add left tab stop. You can see we're here and whatever we type from type from here will be centered exactly in this place. So here we'll put first name. If you see that this slightly exceeds the width then you can move it to the side so it's position over here next field will be the address you can see we just press tab and we're in the same spot okay so now we have the template that we'll be using to send our letters now the question how will we get the data from inside of google sheets into our templates for that, we'll be using a tool called Integromat, and you can read more about Integromat in the description of this video and in my other videos. Uh, but for now, what you need to do right now is basically create a new scenario inside of Integromat. You can skip this uh, entry screen here. And the first module that we will be using will be Google Sheets. So let's type Sheets, Google Sheets. From Google Sheets, we will actually not select any of the watch rows or watch changes we will select a search function. So you can also scroll down or you can type for it, search, search rows, returns results matching the given criteria. So this is what we will use. If this is the first time using Google Sheets module inside of Integromat, you will need to add a new connection, which is fairly straightforward and it will take you to your Google authentication so that you can add this module. The next step will be to select the correct spreadsheets, which would be having the information that we are using. 
customer address list and in our case the correct receipt. Now this is the part where we will select what sort of results we would like to return from this table but for the time being let's just run it once to see what it does. So I'll click OK. Let's press run once. When you open the bubble on the top you will see that it actually has returned information for every single row that we have inside of Google Sheets with all the information that we are having contained in those uh, in those rows. This is great but we would like to have a little bit more control which values are being returned. So let's go back to our Google Sheet and here we'll create a new field which will control which row we want to send to create documents. So here we'll call it send email, send letter. And for the rows that we want to send, we'll call it yes. So now let's go back to the integromat and in the settings. Now in the filter settings, we will select send letter equal to yes. Now this will return only the row that we have marked to be sent out. So this is uh, saying yes. So this is the first row, first customer for which we need to create the template. Okay, so now let's move to using Google Docs to create the template. So the next module here will be Google Docs. Let's look for Google Docs. And let's create a document from a template. Similarly, if this is the first time you are using Google Docs, you might need to extend permissions by uh, clicking add or by confirming the additional permissions. So now the next step is to select your document. So here, click to choose the file. And we have selected our letter template. You can see that the values that we have placed in curly brackets inside of our template are visible right here. We have company name, we also have the total order value. So the first part will be to insert create a date. We could take this from our Google Sheets, but also here we can use a function from inside of Integromat. So let's click here on the calendar icon and let's use the now function. So this will insert the current date when we are creating this template. The next step is to select the first name of our customer and you can already see, see it here inside of the Google Sheets data. Customer name Cecilia. So we click on the customer, then we click on the company name and at the end we'll place the total order value and you can see it over here. The next step is how to call the finished document that we are creating. So in this case, we'll call it letter and the company name. Letter for and the company name. Final step is to select where you want to send, save this document. So we'll use the folder that we have already created. Okay, so let's see whether this thing works. Let's click press run once. No error success, so we can go into the documents to print folder and see whether this document has been created. We can see it has the name that we have selected and the customer name, company name, the date and the order value. The date looks a little bit uh, wonky over here. It's a little bit uh, too complex format, so let's fix this inside of Integromat. Instead of using the standard date format, let's go back here to the calendar and let's select a function called format date. You can see that it gives us hints when you hover over it, how to format, how to use this function. So for example, we'll, we'll select the first format over here. So we'll just copy paste the information from there and follow the information inside of the, the hint. This is the format that we would like to use. Okay, let's save. Let's remove the old template. So let's delete this and let's run it again. And you can see now that the date is formatted in a correct way. Okay, now let's quickly add the envelope to it as well. So we will copy settings from here, clone module, and let's open this module and let's change the template that we are using. We're gonna select the envelope. And now in a similar way, we just need to fill out the values that come from 
Google Sheets. Let's scroll down. Okay, let's change it for envelope. And we'll keep the same location. Let's click OK. And let's run it one more time. Now you can see that we have created again the same letter and also created the envelope, which contains the information for the customer that we have selected. Obviously, we don't want to be creating the same information for the same customer all the time, so we want to also provide feedback to Google Sheets that this has been already created. So let's add an additional column called status, and we will use Integromat to mark this uh, status field as done whenever we create the new letter for this row. So let's go back to Integromat. Let's add a new field, new module for Google Sheets, and we'll use update a row. Let's select the same document we were using. And here for the row number, we will use the row number that comes from the first Google Sheet module here. So here we have for each entry, we'll have the row number. So here we take the row number number from Google Sheets, in this case row 2, and then in the values, the only thing that we will change, we will change status to done. Okay, so let's run this one more time. And now it has been marked on done. The final thing that we need to do is change the first step not to receive the rows that has been already marked as done. So let's change this one. We will add another filter condition. We'll say and status does not exist. Okay, let's run it one more time. You can see it actually started, uh, it has received zero bundles, no information, but it continue running because we have not placed any filter in between. So the step that we need to do, we need to assure there is no data coming in. And we'll say total number of bundles is not equal to one, not equal to zero. This way, this scenario will stop if there's no data to be sent because we have not marked anything new to be sent or created as an email. Okay, so let's go back here and let's turn on this scenario, but with scheduling. So here we can set this to check with our Google Sheet, let's say every 15 minutes, or in most cases it can be done, let's say once a day or every other day of the week or any other schedule that fits your business. In this case, I will not turn it on. I will run one more example manually. So let's basically mark a few more templates to be created. So all of them here. And let's go back to Integromat and let's run it manually first. And now you can see we have created additional free email templates, letter templates. And you can also see that all those letter templates have been created in the folder to send. One final touch, if you would like to do it, you can also make a notification for someone in your team that there is a need to print those out by adding a Gmail module at the end. So you could type here Gmail and you could create a letter from here. So you could say send an email and fill out the name of the, of the person who should receive it. And this would work as a notification every time there is a new email to be sent. You can test modules individually inside of Integromat by right clicking on the module and pressing run this module once. And we have just successfully sent an email to ourselves. I hope that video was uh, useful for you. And if so, please subscribe for more business automation tutorials. Thank you.